Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be talking about the inline five cylinder engine. So here we have a simple uh, diagram of what this may look like. So you've just got simple straightforward five cylinders in a row. Now if you've watched my video on engine balancing you know the way of figuring out the firing interval is taking the number of strokes which is a four stroke engine multiplying that by 180 degrees and dividing that by the number of cylinders. So 4 times 180, 720 divided by 5, that gives you 144. So our firing interval is 144. Now for a four-stroke engine, the firing interval is going to be 180 degrees, which means that there's always going to be a power stroke occurring, but there's no overlap. The advantage of the five-cylinder engine is that because the firing interval is 144 degrees, there's 36 degrees of overlap between each, each uh, power stroke. So it's going to be a much smoother power delivery, and that's one of the big advantages of this engine. So let's take a look at the crankshaft. The crankshaft, which I've drawn here, basically giving you a look at what this looks like. So where the different, uh, basically where the different connecting rods are going to connect and where the pistons are going to be uh, in, in this scenario. So if we're looking at the crankshaft directly on, we've got cylinder one here, cylinder two here, cylinder three here, cylinder four here, and cylinder five here. Now, as I mentioned, the firing interval is going to be every 144 degrees, so we can, or the firing interval, so the firing order we can look at with this diagram. So there's 72 degrees split between each of them, that's just 144 divided by 2, so that you can have a nice even distribution of the cylinders and the power strokes. Now, so if we rotate this 144 degrees, number 2 is going to be at the top, so we know our firing interval is going to go 1, 2, rotate that another 144 degrees, that's going to go to 4. Rotate that another 144, you'll be at 5. And then rotate that another 144 degrees, and you'll be at 3. So the firing order is 1, 2, 4, 5, 3. Now let's take a look at the primary and secondary forces on this crankshaft. Uh, and I've kind of got this drawn the same way that this crankshaft is set up here, with piston 1 at top dead center. So you're going to have your primary forces and your secondary forces, and they're actually going to balance out in the vertical plane. Where they're not going to balance out is right to left along the length of the engine. So you are both your primary and secondary forces are going to kind of rock the engine back and forth like this. So it's common with five cylinder engines that they'll put in a balancing shaft to kind of counter out, counteract that. So benefits of a five cylinder engine. Well, smooth power delivery versus the inline four. That's probably its biggest advantage. It also fits in front wheel drive vehicles easily versus a V6 or an I6. It's a bit narrower than a V6 and it's not as long as an I6. Also, it allows for a larger displacement engine uh, versus the inline four, which could give you more power. Uh, and then balanced reciprocating mass in the vertical plane. Some of the downsides of this, well, like I mentioned, that plane imbalance. Uh, inline four cylinder doesn't have this plane imbalance because the pistons on the outside move with each other and the pistons on the inside move with each other, though it does have uh, the vertical imbalance in the inline four. So you will have to add a balancing shaft in order to counteract that balancing that moment. Um, so that's added inertia, rotational inertia, and added complexity. It's also longer than inline four cylinders, so you know packaging can be a concern with this type of engine. So when would you want to use an inline five cylinder engine? Well, if you want more displacement than an inline four cylinder offers, but you don't have the space for an inline six or a V6, then you can make use of an inline five cylinder engine. And that kind of puts it in somewhat of a narrow, you know, use. Uh, and you know, that's actually how it exists in the market. There aren't that many inline five cylinders out there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below.